Okay, so this is our last problem sa ating chapter 4 exponent sa variables with exponents. So, problem number 5, x raised to negative 2 multiplied by y multiplied by z raised to 3 over x raised to negative 3 multiplied by y raised to 3 multiplied by z raised to 4 squared. Okay, may naka-exponent pa rito na 2. Then, multiplied by x squared, y raised to 5, then z raised to Okay, so, I think ito na rin yung magiging last example talaga natin sa ating ano, uh, variables with exponent para makapag-move on na rin tayo sa iba pang topic under sa ating chapter 4 exponent. And before natin isolve uh, itong ating problem number 5, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Okay, so isolve natin to. So, ang gawin natin dito is ating dividend dito is i-multiply kagad natin rito ng direkta. And, and then, isabay na rin natin yung pag-distribute ng ating exponent na 2 dito sa ating mga variables na nasa pa, or yung ating divisor. Yan. Okay. So, x raised to negative 2 multiplied by y raised, uh, okay, raised to 1. Okay. Then, multiplied by z raised to 3 multiplied by x squared, multiplied by y raised to 5, then z raised to 3, over, okay, so this is x raised to negative 3 multiplied by 2, that is negative 2, I mean, negative 3 multiplied by positive 2, that is negative 6, then y raised to 3 and 2, so 6, positive 6, then z raised to 4 and 2 is 8, yan, Okay. Sa ating pagsamasamahin, no? So, this is x raised to negative 2, then plus 2. Pinasama ko na kayo. Pinasama ko na yung dalawang ano dito, x. Then, yung sa so y naman, y raised to 1 plus 5. Then, Z raised to 3. Parehas na Z raised to 3, no? So, Z raised to 3 plus 3 over X raised to negative 6 Y raised to 6 Z raised to 8. So, ilan ba to? This is 0, hindi ba? Then, this is 6. Then, this is 6. So, X raised to 0 is 1. So, 1 na lang yan. Then, ang matitira dito sa taas is y raised to 6. Then, z raised to 6. Over, x raised to negative 6. Then, y raised to 6. Then, z raised to 8. Pwede natin masimplify itong ano, no? y raised to 6. Kasi isa lang yan eh. But, pwede natin i-akit to. Then, ang mangyayari dito is y raised to 6. Okay, my, uh, multiplied by y raised to negative 6. So, 6 minus 6 is 0. So, magiging 1 na lang siya. Okay. So, 1 na lang din yun. Then, ito, itaas na natin to. Gawin na natin positive yung kanyang exponent. So, magiging x raised to positive 6 over z raised to 8 multiplied by z raised to negative 6. Kaya magiging sagot natin is x raised to 6 over 8 minus 6 is 2. Hindi ba? But this is z raised to negative or raised to positive. Yan yung sagot natin. Actually, pwede na, meron tayong pwedeng ano dito eh, pang check sa calculator. Ang gagawin lang natin is mag-assign tayo ng value. Ang x natin sabihin natin 2. Ang ating y sabihin nating uh, 3. Ang ating z sabihin nating 4. Yan. So try nating ano to. Uh, ilagay sa calculator. So x. Ang x natin is 2. Hindi ba? Then raise to negative 2. Then ang y natin is 3. Then ang z natin is 4. Then raise to 3. Over x. That is 2 raised to negative 3. Okay, so naka-ano pala ito, no? Yeah. Then, 
multiplied by y that is 3 raised to 3 then multiplied by 4 raised to 4 then naka square hindi ba then yung buong equation na to or i mean expression na to i-multiply natin ng x raised to 2 that is 2 raised to 2 then multiplied by y which is 3 raised to 5 then multiplied by z which is po uh, 3 uh, sorry which is equivalent to 4 then raised to 3 so ano makukuha ang sagot 4 ang makukuha ang sagot so kapag ginamit natin itong x raised to 6 over z raised to 2 dapat 4 din yung makukuha okay yung x natin is 2 raised to 6 then over z which is 4 raised to 2 dapat 4 ang makukuha dyan para Masabi natin na itong um, expression na to is equivalent lamang sa x raised to 6 over z squared. Kasi ito yung simplified niya, di ba? Simplified expression. Ayan. So, 4 ang sagot. So, tama tayo ng uh, simplification ng ating expression. Okay. Actually, pwede natin gamitin yung sa ating problem number 3 at sa problem number 4. Pares lang din yung makuha natin kapag mag-assign kayo ng value dun sa ating mga variables. Kaya nga sila natin variables na vary pero tayong mag-assign ng ano dyan, ng value. Okay? Pero sa iba pang pra, sa iba pa natin topic or chapter, meron sa tayong ano eh, topic na equation. Kapag equation kasi, hinahanap natin yung specific value of that certain uh, variable para masatisfy natin yung equation. Okay? Dito kasi wala natin equation eh. Di ba? Kaya pwede tayong mag-assign ng any value. Pero doon sa Chapter na yun, I think under siya sa chapter, ano yata? Chapter 5. Kasunod data ng expert. I don't know. Pero di pa kasi na kami nagbabasa. Anyway, under doon sa chapter 5 na yun, ganun yung ano, uh, ginagawa natin to solve or uh, ginagawa natin para makuha yung mga variables. Okay? Ayan. So, this is our last problem. Or, I think, uh, problem number 5. Baka magdadag pa rin naman kami ng mga example in the near future. Okay? So, this is our problem number 5 for the variables with exponent and we hope na marami kayo natutunan at nakasabay kayo sa lahat ng discussion ng CE Box tutorial channel. So, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!